Hey guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex. Today I'm going to show you how to transfer all your WhatsApp chat data from an iPhone 14 to a Redmi Note 11. Before we start the process, please make sure you have the latest version of everything. In this case, check your iOS and I have 16.3.1, which is the latest one. Also go to the App Store, look for WhatsApp, and when you drag it down, you see open. That means that you have the latest version. If you see update, that means that you need to update it. Okay. Also check that you have the latest version of Android available to your device and I have Android 12 here on the Redmi. Another thing guys, I want you to do a backup of WhatsApp. You're going to go to settings, chats and here chat backup and make sure that you include the videos. Auto backup could be daily and that's it. Back it up now. My whole backup is only 49.7 megabytes. I'm sure your backup is going to be gigs. Guys, before doing the backup, if you have a lot of data, try to delete all the videos, pictures, groups, all the stuff that you really don't need. Try to clean it up, delete it so you can have your backup smaller, right? The slimmer the backup, the faster you will do this transfer. I'm just going to wait for them to finish. And now let's work on the Android. What do we need to do on the Android? We need to factory reset the Redmi Note 11. If you have already data, don't forget to do a backup. And then you're going to go to settings about the phone. And here is factory reset and click on erase all data. I'm not going to back it up. All right. So I'm just going to factory reset. Attention, factory reset will erase all data on your device. Yes. Another 10 seconds. Wow. Make sure all important items are back it up. OK, this is interesting, guys, because it makes you think twice. You know, this is going to take a little bit and is restoring right now. In the meantime, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. In that way, I can upload more videos for you. If you don't support me, then this channel is going to die. This method of transferring WhatsApp data from the iPhone to an Android phone only works if you have an Android device with Android 12, if you have a Samsung device or a Google Pixel 3 and up. All right, guys, so let's wait for this. Let's set up the Redmi Note 11. English United States. Gboard is OK. I read and agree. OK, checking for SIM card. I don't have a SIM card, so I'm going to skip this step. Now, I do have a, a Wi-Fi and the password is I'm connected. Now, Google services, use location. I'm going to keep use location because we're going to need it, guys. Allow scanning, send usage. OK, accept. I'm going to skip this. You can do it later. Disable some of this stuff. OK, the classic. And the setup is complete, guys. Let's check the iPhone. How is the iPhone doing? And the iPhone is ready, guys. We finished the backup. Once we finish the WhatsApp backup, we need to do an iCloud backup. How can we do an iCloud backup? We go to settings. We click on our Apple ID. We click on iCloud. And we do an iCloud backup. Notice that it was off. I turn it on. And I'm going to back it up right now. Okay, so now it's on. And it's back it up. So we're going to finish with that. OK, so it says finish Redmi Note 11 4G setup. I'm going to click start. I'm going to click skip, getting your phone ready. And this is the screen that we need. Let's copy your data. So you're going to click next. It says use your old device. And this is the part when we connect both devices, so because supposedly my old device is the iPhone 14. I want to show you all the messages I have in my WhatsApp iPhone, because only when we see all of this stuff here on the Android, then the transfer is going to be successful. OK, I have a lot of little messages, but this message is the one that has the most. I have pictures and videos contacts, files, PDF, Excel, Word document, zip, a lot of file types, memojis, emojis, stickers, audio files, and I have a video. We need to see all of this on the Android to consider this transfer successful. I have the iPhone. I have the Android. The Android is already set up as use your old device. We're going to follow instructions. It says you need your old Android or iPhone device. Turn it on and keep it unlocked. Use your old device. Next, find your old device cable. And this is the cable. So we're going to connect the lighting to the phone. Click next. It says insert cable into your old device. We just did. Click next. Connect both devices using the cable. So now it's time to connect this device. Now look what happened, guys. This is very important, guys. You need to see this message. Trust this computer. You don't see trust this computer. This is not going to work. But in this case, this is working. Trust this computer. Trust okay. here. Just leave it like that. Reverse charging and transferring files. OK, that's fine. Just click outside, though. You see here it says devices are connected. On the next screen, you can sign in to your Google account or create a new one. Here I'm going to sign in to my Google account. It's, I'm going to click agree. 
getting ready to copy. Look at this, guys. It says, if you have a lot of data on your iPhone, this step might take a while. Android is trying to get all the information from the iPhone. 274 megabytes of 79 gigs. So apps, I have seven apps selected. Contacts, photos, videos, iMessage, device settings. Some of your data may not transfer to your Redmi Note 11 4G. So here, guys, what I want you to do is I want you to click on apps. I want you to deselect all apps and I want you to select WhatsApp Messenger only. Okay, and then you click OK. So now you have one app, which is WhatsApp Messenger, and then you have all the rest. And look at these videos. It says iCloud data not included. The same on photos. I'm going to click copy. And look at these guys. It says transfer WhatsApp chats. Scan the QR code with your iPhone to open WhatsApp, then tap start. I'm going to open my camera app on the iPhone, and I'm going to just put it on top. And that's going to read the QR code, and I'm going to click the link. And that's going to open WhatsApp, move chats to Android, transfer your chat history and media to your new Android device. You will not be able to transfer later if you skip this step. So click start. Now look at this, guys. Continue on your new phone. Basic device backup. I'm going to click accept. Set password, skip. And this one also I'm going to click skip, skip. Anything else? No, thanks. Copying's done. It says copying's done. OK, I'm going to click done. Turn off iMessage. If I want to use the Android as my main device, I need to go to the iPhone on settings, messages, and you see iMessage, turn it off. If you turn it off, then you will get all the text messages to the Android. Okay. I'm going to click on done and it says getting your phone ready. I want you to go to the left, scroll, and look at this. Complete and set up. Install two of 14 applications. Click on it, and you're going to see pending, and you're going to see install. They already installed WhatsApp Messenger here. So I'm going to click open, and look at this. Welcome to WhatsApp English. Agree and continue. So we're going to use the same phone number that we use on the iPhone. Choose United States, which is plus one, which is 786-753-4663. I do have the SIM card on this iPhone 6S. So the code, I'm going to get it here. So make sure this is the phone number. Click OK. It says that it's going to send a code to this device because the SIM card is on this device. So for some reason, it didn't send the text, but I'm going to try it again. Five seconds. So I'm going to click need help getting a code. Verification options. How do you want to get your code? Send code, send SMS, or call me. I always use the code. Let's use the call me feature, all right? Call me. And look at this. This is WhatsApp calling me. Verification code is 9080001. Your verification code is. And that's it. I'm going to click continue. Allow WhatsApp to access your contacts. Allowed. Importing chat history, guys. We need permission to restore your chats. You will not be able to import later if you skip this step. Importing chat history. Okay. Start. Allow WhatsApp to access your photos and media. Allowed. Now, say importing. Importing 50%. Keep your phone import complete, guys. So this is what you want to see, guys. This is showing you that this transfer is going to be successful. Next. I will set it up now daily. I'm going to choose this account. Don't forget to include the videos and then just click done. And look at these guys, all my chats, all the chats that I have on the iPhone. Now they are on the Android device. And let me see this one. This one was the one that has the most stuff, right? And we have everything just to make sure guys click on the play the video just to make sure that it's working because sometimes you only see the thumbnail and the video doesn't work. You have contacts, you have PDF files. Let me open this for example. And it's the PDF right there, guys. It's working perfectly. Microsoft Word, zip files, all kind of files, guys. Memojis, emojis, stickers, everything transfer. Audio messages, videos. So this transfer was successfully 100%, guys. I was able to transfer all my WhatsApp chat data from the iPhone to the Android. In this case, this is a Xiaomi Redmi Note 11, and it was a successful thing, guys. A lot of people are going to ask me, can I do this transfer without a cable? No, you cannot. Uh, can I do this transfer with my Motorola? Only you have Android 12. You can do this transfer with Android devices with Android 12, Samsung devices with Android 10 and up, Pixel devices, Pixel 3 and up. This is what I know so far. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe my channel because if you don't support me, guys, who else is going to support me? This channel is going to die, all right? Please don't forget to subscribe. It's free. It's going to take you one second. And also click that bell so every time I upload a new video, you will get a notification. 
This is your friend Alex. Have a great day, guys. Bye.